Sample Problems in Water Balance. Uh, discuss na natin last um, presentation ko, last video, yung uh, concept of water balance, water budget, and even yung mga formula na ginagamit natin for uh, different uh, medium or different places. For example, sa water balance, no? Ayan, so let me show you yung uh, slides natin last time. Diba, we stated before na yung water budget equation is uh, P, pardon me no, P lang to. Which is precipitation plus Q in is equal to ET plus delta S plus Q out. And to, para mas mukha siyang malinis tingnan, pwede mo pagsamahin sa left side yung Q in. Tapos isubtract mo lang yung Q out. Then, subtract mo yung ET, then delta S. Okay? So, yan yung gagamitin nating formula for our um, solving problems later on. And if you will ask me, ma'am, yung mga sinulat mong equation na to, yan, gagamitin pa ba namin yan sa exam namin, ma'am, no? So, guys, hindi na, um, masyadong specific to. Pero, generally speaking, lahat ng formula na to is just modification lang siya nito. But still, ito pa din yung general equation natin, okay? So, yun. So, let's uh, start our solving proper. A lake has an area of 10 square kilometers. Yan yung area niya. And during a specific month, the lake evaporation was 90 millimeters. So, this is our evaporation. Pwede mo rin siyang tawagin na evapotranspiration, no? So, guys, uh, just to define clearly what's the difference between evaporation and evapotranspiration. Evaporation is the uh, conversion of water in water into water vapor pag na exposed sa heat. While evapotranspiration is the combination of evaporation and transpiration. So, ano ba yung transpiration? Yung, di ba sa atin, for example, sa, sa, sa plant, pag siya inag uh, re release ng water or ng... Um, H2O, so you, that's um, evapotranspiration. Now, evaporation man yan, or evapotranspiration, still considered siya as ET. Lagi siyang bumabawas sa water balance natin. ba? So, during the same month, the inflow, or Q-in, to the lake from a river was an average of 1.2 cubic meter per second. And the outflow, or Q-out, uh, is 1.1 cubic meter per second. Also, for the same month, a water level increase of 100 millimeter for the lake was observed. So, yun yung delta S mo. Yan yung increase in the water uh, level. Ngayon, kung magiging decrease ito, nakita mong decrease, sub, ano lang siya, negative. Ilalagay mo negative sign pag decrease. Pero pag increase, use positive sign. Okay, so now the question is, what was the precipitation in millimeters during that month? And then, the concentration of phosphorus in inflow river water was 1 mg per liter and outflow river water 0.8 mg per liter during the month. What was the change of stored for phosphorus in kilograms in the lake during the month? So, let's answer. So, dito... We are looking for the precipitation in millimeter during that month. So, again, we will use the formula lang na uh, precipitation plus Q in minus Q out minus ET is equal to delta S. Again, may value ka ng delta S, ET, Q in, Q out. So, you can solve for the precipitation. But before that, bago natin um, isolve yung precipitation, I think it's better na i-convert na natin yung Q in minus Q out kasi iba yung dimension nila. Naka cubic meter per second sila but this values here is a unit of ano lang siya. Parang linear lang siya. Meter, millimeter, ganun. So, ito kailangan natin convert So, kunin muna natin si Q in minus Q out. So, Q in is 1.2. Q out is 1.1. Therefore, we have 0.1 cubic meter per second. Tapos guys, i-convert natin to dapat into meters. So, para maging meters yan, dapat ma-divide siya ng square meter. Tama. Tapos ma-times ito ng um, seconds. Or, alam nyo naman, dimensional analysis lang naman yun. No? So, para yan ay ma-simplify natin. 
start muna tayo by converting this one into, I think, day. So, point 10 cubic meter per second. So, alam naman natin, in 1 hour, we have 3,600 um, seconds. And in 1 day, we have um, 24 hours. Diba? So, cancel, cancel. Okay, ang unit na natin is now in cubic meter per day. So, that is 0.10 times 3,600 times 24. So, that is 8,640 uh, cubic meter per day. Okay? Now, um, siguro, better if ano natin to, no? If i-convert natin yung area, kasi kakailangan natin, kakailanganin natin area later on. So, for the area, convert lang natin yung 10 um, kilometer squared, square kilometer. Convert lang natin. We know that in 1 um, kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. And then, square mo lang siya. So, that cancel ito sa kayon. And then, mako-convert na siya into square millimeter. So, we have 10 times 1,000 squared. So, that is 10 million, no? 10 million square meters. Ayan. So, we have Q in minus Q out uh, 8640 cubic meter per day. And since, tiba, um, it happened during a specific month, so the duration is 30 days. Imumultiply lang natin to sa 30 days. Tama. And then, i-divide natin sa, sa, sa area. Kasi ang gusto natin is matanggal yung square meter sa taas, saka yung day sa ilalim, para meter na lang siya. Diba? Kung baga dimensional analysis lang naman siya. So, we divide it by 10 million um, square meters. Therefore, cancel na to. And then, ito. So, what will be our Q in minus Q out? 8640 divided by 10 million. Okay, times 30. Times 30. So, we have 0 0.02592. 0 0.02592. Meters. Actually, guys, gusto ko kayong sanayin, no? That in our future computations, I'll always um, give or get the four decimal places. Para uniform tayo and masanay kayo um, na ganito tayo mag um, kuha ng final answer. Laging naka four decimal places. So, ganun din na may turo sa board exam, guys. Once na nag-review kayo sa Ruby Center, let's now use the balance equation or the water balance equation. So, again, we have the precipitation plus Q in minus Q out, which is 0 0.0259 minus the evapotranspiration, which is 90 mm, 0 0.09 meters, right? Then, equal to the change in water level. Okay, so what is our precipitation? Okay, so we got 0 0.1641. That is meter. We need the millimeters, no? So, 164.1 millimeters. So, that's the answer for number one. And last question for this item, no? The concentration of phosphorus in inflow river was, water was 1 milligram per liter. And outflow river water, 0.8 milligram per liter. During the month, what was the change of stored phosphorus in the lake during the month? For this problem, no, ang gagawin natin is, of course, ang challenge na naman dito is to convert. Yun lang na may matagal sa kanya kasi the formula here, though I didn't um, introduce the formula sa ating um, PowerPoint last time, but this is quite dimensional analysis kasi, di ba, may concentration ka ng inflow sa river, may concentration din ng outflow. So, basically, ang gagawin mo lang, yung Q in, multiply mo lang sa concentration ng inflow. Tapos, minus yung Q out, 
i-multiply mo lang sa concentration ng outflow ng phosphorus. And then, equal na siya sa the change in phosphorus sa loob ng ating um, lake. Let's start by simply converting muna yung Q in and Q out into liter per second. We have yung Q in natin, Q in, which is 1.2 um, cubic meter per second. Iko-convert natin siya into liter per second. So, we know that in 1 cubic meter, we have 1,000 liters. And then, convert natin siya into day. We know that in one day na lang, no? There are 3,600 times 24 mo na lang. Okay lang ba? Kasi one day is 24 hours, no? So, ayan. Ayan. So, we have 1.2 times 1,000 3,600 times 24. 1, 10.368 times 10 raised to 7. Raised to 7 liter per day. Okay? So, for Q out naman, we have Q in. Tapos, multiply mo siya sa in uh, concentration in which is 1 mg per liter so this is liter per day then you have 1 mg per liter per liter okay and then of course dahil uh, entire ano yan, no for the entire 1 month so i-multiply mo siya ng 30 days and then minus 9.504 times 10 raised to 7 liters per day, times, ang outflow is 0.8 milligrams per liter, per liter, then you have, of course, 30 days then, okay, then equal siya sa, of course, yung phosphorus, no? Of this one, cancelled out, cancelled out, so, basically, ang magiging value ng delta P or change in phosphorus mo is naka-milligrams. convert na lang natin siya later on. So, 10.368, 10 raised to 7 times, times 30 minus 9.504 times 10 raised to 7 times 0.8 times 30. So, you'll get there um, naka-milligrams. But, we need the kilogram unit which is 8, 2, 9, 400,000. But we know that in 1 uh, kilogram, we have 1 million milligrams. Therefore, the change in phosphorus in the lake or in the river water is 829.4 kilograms. So, that's the answer.